This is Will Lindsay Otto, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed artist of one and only Haves. But before we get to our interview, here is a sneak peek at Haves' incredible talent with I Must R-L-Y, also an acronym for I Must Really Like You. Lies glowing on your little face Trouble on my mind So much we could say Not really my style With you I go all the way We gotta worry about nothing Better with you here That must be so Doing so much better now that we are finally, finally meeting. You are coming from Canada. I'm in New York. I had interviews today with artists in Australia, China, Singapore, London, you name it. So I love that we're, we are international today, yeah. truly. Have, I want to start first and foremost, the type of artists that you grew up idolizing as a kid. Who were they? The uh, number one that always comes to mind is Mac Miller, just because I feel like we kind of grew simultaneously and kind of the stuff that when he first started, like with kids, uh, for example, the mixtape, I was kind of in the same mind state as him at that time when he put that out. And then as he progressed, I also did as a, as a human. And so it was kind of nice to see the evolution of that. So I would say that would be the most stable influence of mine like the one that just hasn't changed so Mac Miller and then right now I've been listening to a lot of a lot of R&B so that's been for the past like forever but the artists that I are really that I'm inspired by always change so because there's always new artists coming out so like right now it's I would say Kelly Uchis and um always Jenny Aiko uh let me see who else is there like all the way to like asap honestly i'm kind of all over the place <laughs> oh i love that and i love that you gain inspiration from so many different artists i want you to specifically talk about the song i must rly really like you the song <laughs> and the concepts for the music video how that all came about for you i actually wrote that song i co-wrote it with a couple of people and it was during a songwriting camp that I was at we had to make like a pop song but then I ended up singing on it so it became less poppy by default and it kind of worked out well because I was trying to make a song like that but um there's always like a R&B twist on it so um we ended up just coming together and just being like okay what's everyone feeling right now and we we're all kind of in new relationships or partnerships or like just in that like first stages of talking. So we wrote a song about that, about being able to like, I was really like, he was like, oh, I can actually like do all these things with you. And I'm, and like, I can't do that with just anyone. So I must really like you. <laughs> so that's kind of where it came. I love just, it. I think it's something that everyone can relate to. And on top of that too, I'm curious to know during the pandemic, how you were able to kind of keep your creative juices flowing in such a tough time. Oh man, I, at first I was 
selfishly like kind of relieved because I actually finally had time because I was just so go 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 always doing something and I had like a full two months really to just chill and to just breathe and so that was really nice and I took that time to join webinars which is actually I think how I found you and and this platform so which is interesting to think now I, I just realized this at the second but um yeah so I was doing a lot of that and I also got into sound healing so I dove deep into that and I don't know if you know what Reiki is but it's um, basically by the way we have sound healers we have sound we have I think I would say at least 20 sound healers as part of Phoenix 360 from all over the world China Japan in the United States, those are the three main countries because obviously I interview them. So I, and I just remember them, I'm learning from them Reiki and the, the, how different sounds and vibrations equate to different synapses within the, I mean, it's, you speak, you're the expert. I would love to connect with, link me um, after, but yeah, so I started, I dove into that mostly with like crystal bowls and the Tibetan sound bowls. So that was like the main thing that I was doing. And I also got really into Reiki because I, again, through one of the webinars, I met somebody and we had this like entrepreneur slash musician slash creative meeting, like just like a group thing every two weeks or something and she was like oh I can give you guys a distance distant Reiki session so I was like oh, I don't know what that is but I'm down so we did it and I like felt it in my hands like it was so intense and I was like what is this I need to know more and um then I asked her about it and she's like oh sometimes like my Reiki master told me that sometimes some people are born with it with like the ability to like you don't because you need certain attunements to be able to anyone could do reiki but you need the attunements to be able to do it so um some people are just born with that so i sought out somebody to teach me it took a while but i found a shaman she taught me and now i kind of incorporate that in all my music including i must really like you i just basically infuse it with reiki and the sound healing is more is newer than when i first made i must really like you so that's in like my newer stuff but yeah, it's been really fun. And that's been kind of helping me. That helped me through the whole pandemic. Well, look at it. It's going to help so many others as you release your music and to even just have it almost elegantly implemented. It does something to the body and soul. And um, I know that you know that more than me because you actually study it. But I'm just so fascinated with the power of sound and frankly, the healing power of music. And Habs, I'm so excited you're coming on board this incredible new app. And I'm also so grateful that we are now connected. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's the subtleties, really. Absolutely. And actually, final question for you, Habs. I want to know, are there any songs that you're currently about to release that you can give us maybe like a little sneak peek about? I have a lot of songs that I'm about to release. So I have been kind of sitting on them and waiting for, cause it hasn't been the right moment. I'm very like intuitive that way. And if it doesn't feel right, then I'm not gonna do it even though I really, really want it. So uh, I've been sitting on those. There's a few, they're kind of, there's some like more high and then there's an EP that I wanna put out that really incorporates the sound healing. Um, so that's going to be hopefully within the next year, but hey, yeah, you got to go with the vibration. You got to go with the flow and obviously it's working for you. And again, I am so grateful for your time today and it's so nice to meet you. You too. Thank you.